So now that the container home's done, I finally got uh, into the uh, process of, uh, you know, getting chickens. Built the uh, pretty big chicken run and coop. Unfortunately, this morning I uh, discovered an unfortunate scene. One of my hens appears to have been killed. Well, definitely was killed by a predator. And uh, it took me some pretty good amount of time trying to think about w what killed it. How did it happen? Also, briefly, you can see the ton of feathers everywhere. I believe that this is where the chicken was abducted. This segment of the chicken tunnel was actually separated this morning. So whatever happened, this segment of chicken tunnel, you can see that they're segmented into pieces, was pulled over like a foot. Um, and this segment right here, I already reconstructed it. But it had a significant dent pulled, pushed down like this. As if something had jumped on top and then was able to crawl in through here into the tunnel. Go to the very dead end of the tunnel. Probably went wild. Big fight ensued. That broke off the last segment and then it escaped. And then the trail of feathers goes and it goes... 200 feet that way into the woods. I actually followed the feathers all the way. I eventually found the uh, the remains of the hen But uh, You know the chicken coop. I, I believe I followed all the basic standard protocols This thing is completely sealed up with hardware cloth up down left right Yes, I got two feet of hardware cloth that wraps underneath these stones It's currently buried under the sand all the way around including the door i got a hardware cloth there as well uh, in fact you can see the hardware cloth i didn't cover it up here but you can see that hardware cloth that wraps underneath extends out you can still see the hardware cloth extending out there again everything is hardware clothed up there were no feathers in here no signs of disruption at all in the run in the coop, if I open the coop here, um, everything looked normal. It, it, I don't. I'm, I'm. I know for a fact. I'm 100% sure that whatever the predator did, it did not get into the run. Even though that chicken tunnel over there, technically anything that gets into the tunnels can get into the run. Um, but that being said. That being said, the run is complete. The coop is completely undisturbed. Um, everything looks like it did the last time I checked, basically. Maybe with a little bit of more chicken droppings, but... So, there, there was, there's no chaos happening in here. Nothing happened in here. So, again, the only thing out of place that suggests what happened is that all the way at the very end of the tunnel, where I just described to you that the, one of the segments had been pushed down, it looked like something could have crawled in, and then all the feathers at the end. So I really do suspect that the chicken tunnels failed me. You might be asking, well, why would you just rely on these not-so-secure chicken tunnels to keep them protected during the day? Because, of course, at night, they're inside the coop, locked up. Ain't nothing going to get them there. Even if something managed, some predator managed to creep through these tunnels, you know, break its way into the tunnel, it would have to go all the way over there, then go in through the open door latch here, because there is a door latch, there's like a flapping door here, you can see it's lifted up right now. I never drop it, because at the end of the day, the automatic chicken coop door is closed and guarding the coop. I mean, I guess in theory something could lift the coop door up, if they manage to find their way into the tunnel, navigate all the way through it, jump inside the run, and then potentially get to the... But I just figured the odds that, uh, you know, why, why would a raccoon, which I suspect is what killed the, uh, the hen, I, I, I just assumed why would the raccoon... In the middle of night, because apparently they're primary night creatures, but they could come out in the day as well. Why would a raccoon be trying to break in through an empty tunnel at night? 
There's, there's no chickens in here. And at night, they're in the coop, locked up behind the door. Why would a raccoon, in the middle of the night, with no chickens in sight, try to break through here? You think a, a raccoon knows that if it breaks through the tunnel, it has access to the run? And then has access to the chickens that are in the coop behind the automatic uh, coop door that closes at night every night. I just, I didn't think that they would be able to put two and two together. The only thing that's here is chicken droppings, right? The chickens are in the tunnels all day. They're, you know, dropping feces everywhere. Maybe the scent of feces could potentially lure in the raccoon to be sniffing around the tunnels at night. Enough so that it tries to break into the tunnel goes all the way through the tunnel through that door latch then it's in the run and then it could potentially if it finagled enough might be able to open that automatic chicken door but again none of that happened because the uh the run and the coop is completely undisturbed there would have been a mess in there feathers if a raccoon had got it inside and by the way the three other hens completely at ease they're completely relaxed. They, they, don't, they don't seem to have realized that one of their best buddies just got massacred today. They don't even seem to notice. There are so... So my theory... My theory on what happened is... The attack happened this morning. Sometime after the automatic chicken door on the coop rose up and opened... Uh, which it does every morning when there's enough sunlight out during the sunrise. The chickens came out like they norm normally do. They probably came out. Some were in the tunnel. Some were in the run, minding their own business, doing their thing. And I suspect that at some point, a raccoon emerged and went in for the kill. The reason I really, honestly, the real reason I had faith in the tunnels despite them not being too secure a structure, is because I never see raccoons and possums during the daytime on my property. Ever. Ever. They're the only two ground predators that I'm aware of that are a real threat to chickens where I live. And I only ever see them at night. So I thought to myself, during the day, when the chickens are out and they're in the tunnels, the only thing they got to worry about maybe are hawks. But I just didn't think that a hawk could get through this. I didn't, I think, I, I just, I figured a hawk would have trouble trying to get into this kind of thing. So I wasn't worried about it. So again, my theory is a raccoon, I'm going to say a raccoon. A raccoon was up bright and early. Probably 7 a.m. ish. The chickens were out doing their thing. And one of the chickens, you know, the one that the one that was killed, she definitely loved. They all love being in the chicken tunnel. But I think she was particularly more into it. Because she turns turns out she's the only hen I have that's currently laying eggs. Um now she's gone. Um so I think she was always far more interested in like food and like grazing and trying to get nutrition probably because she was laying eggs and the raccoon probably appeared scared the chicken or maybe the chicken was already in the final segment of the tunnel here and it crawled in it jumped on top the weight of the raccoon alone bent the wire down it slipped right in havoc ensued as you can see probably a big fight and Probably in the fight alone to get the chicken, this segment uh, shifted off. Let me show you what uh, I currently have. Basically, I, right now, I just have these clips. I think they're called binder clips. And, uh, you know, it's just a very simple... Because i got to move these tunnels every week. I, I move it every week over to the next spot. So that the chickens don't destroy the grass all the way down to nothing. So the grass can grow back quicker. But, uh, so I wanted to keep it a kind of a light system so I can just pick it up and move it. Pick it up and move it. Pick it up and move it. But, uh, so there's just these little binder clips 
and you know they they're not this i didn't put these here to keep predators out i put it to keep the structure somewhat together so the chickens didn't get out um but as you can see i didn't put any of them on the top the top is just the form of the wire itself holding the thing together there are no clips up here maybe that would have saved it maybe when this animal jumped up on here if there was a clip here the clip potentially would have prevented this from caving and allowing it access into the tunnel now again a lot of what I'm saying here is speculation, right? I'm trying to put the pieces back together after it happened with no idea what happened. Um, but I'm pretty confident in this theory. There's one other theory I have which I don't buy, but it's possible that the hen that was killed didn't make it into the coop on time last night before the automatic chicken door closed. I've had these chickens for, I think, a little over, just about a month now, I'm pretty sure. They always go into the coop 20 minutes or 30 minutes before the automatic chicken coop door senses the light is so dark outside and the door closes. Not once has it ever happened to me in the about a month that I've had these hens that one of them didn't make it into the coop on time. But my theory is that maybe she didn't make it into the coop on time. Thus, she was out in the run all night, potentially in the tunnel. A raccoon spotted it or smelled it and started going crazy trying to attack it. Probably panicked the hen. The hen may have even run into the tunnel trying to get away. Maybe made it all the way to the final end of it. And, and the raccoon was up here pouncing trying to get at it. And again, jumped on top weighed it down slipped in so yeah it's uh really unfortunate but i guess i learned a lesson um again it was all hinging on my experience that i've never seen a raccoon out here or a possum on my property during the daytime they just i've just never seen them they're only at night and since i'm like well they're in the coop at night behind the door i don't think it's going to work its way through here go all the way and go all the way in and that obviously didn't happen because, again, the coop was completely undisturbed. The run was undisturbed. This is where all the action happened. So that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to have to weigh my options here, try to find out what I'm going to do. Can I trust these chicken tunnels as they are? Can I, can I, do I really, I mean, now, now, now there's predators out there and it knows that it can come to these tunnels and get free food. It, it knows it now. So, who knows, it learned, you know, it learned. So, I'm, I, you know, it's, I pretty much have no choice. I'm going to have to reinforce these tunnels. If, if my theory on what happened is true, I'm going to have to reinforce these tunnels. But again, it's that fine line between reinforcing them, but not so much that the process of me then having to desegment and move them over one by one to the next lane because I don't want them over-consuming and destroying the soil and the grass. I want the grass to grow back fairly quickly. If I just leave them in one lane forever, it'll be just a barren wasteland of dirt. So, I'll have to find a simple way to secure it, but not to overdo it, that moving it becomes, you know. So, it's a, it's a, it's a balancing act. But, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to post that. You know, it's funny because I've seen so many other chicken tunnel videos from other people who have chicken tunnels. And they're all roughly the kind of the same thing. They're not overly secured, you know. So, yeah, uh, maybe this will give some uh, second thoughts to anybody else to maybe put a little bit more security on this, on these chicken tunnels. Um, so, yep. That's it for now.